thanks for tuning in. This is Tony with Talking Car Biz. In this video, we're going to talk about Plan B of the What's My Trade question. And we know that we have already covered Plan A. And plan A is the strategy of tell the customer why it's to their advantage, to their benefit, to come visit with you. So in Plan A, uh, first of all, we esteem the customer for asking the question. Number two is we ask about the trade-in in an effort to get enthusiastic and show genuine interest in their trade-in. Number three, we walk them through the process that we will do when they visit the dealership to ensure they get an offer for their trade-in. And then number four, we close on the appointment. And many times that's all it took and we were able to get that appointment. Plan B comes into play when plan A fails. There really is no single strategy that's going to consistently over time get the answer and the result you're looking for. So you've got to have these multiple strategies. So plan B is essentially this. Discover from the customer what they've already done to determine their vehicle value. There's basically three categories of customers. The first category is value to make you there today. And that is the customer who's done nothing other than pick up the phone and call your dealership. These customers, while they're few and far in between, at one point in, our, in the history of our business, they were every customer. They were folks who had no idea what their car was worth and had no resources to determine it other than check with dealers. And sometimes we'd go to multiple dealer after dealer after dealer, trying to get the most money for their trade-in. And that's when our industry discovered, hey, you don't really tell them what your trade-in is, give them an allowance, give them the actual cash value, and then discount the car, but put the car discount onto the trade-in to give them the illusion that they're doing more for their trade-in. And I guess the hope was that they wouldn't realize that they're not getting a big discount off their car. That was a very difficult and truthfully not a very trans transparent and I would argue morally dishonest. Uh, but we did it. Let's give them an allowance. And I can't tell you how many times I had to explain to the customer, here's how we got your numbers. So it just doesn't work. It, it didn't work very well back then. Uh, and I know there's lots of old school car guys who would argue with me. Feel free to argue with me. I'm not going to teach you anything. Why? Because you're an old school car guy. You can't teach an old dog new tricks and you would fight me anyway. So these videos really are not for the old car guy. It's for the people who want to be transparent that want to be honest. So we've got the customer's done nothing. Then we've got the customer who's done some research. Maybe they've already sh looked online. Maybe they looked at Kelly Blue Book or Edmunds or Platinum. On and on and on. They've done all that. But they're still calling you. Still calling your dealership. Why do you think that is? It's because of two things. Number one, their research hasn't produced the amount they were hoping to get. And number two is, yes, they realize Kelly Blue Book is not going to write them a check. We don't even tell them that. In fact, I think telling it, telling them that insults their intelligence. And let's not do that. So then the next group of people are the people who have actually done all their homework and then took it to the next step and visited with car dealerships and had their vehicle appraised and maybe dealers made them some offers. And still, they're not hearing what they want to hear. So now they're calling you. So here's what you're going to do. When they don't go for the A plan, they boy, I understand you live in Timbuktu plus 100 miles. Have you done any research on your car to determine its value? Have you done any research on your car to determine its value? Makes no difference whether they say, yes, I've done a lot, or no, I've done nothing. In either case, the word track is there. Great. We recommend you do. In fact, Kelly Blue Book or Edmunds.com are great resources. When you visit those sites, be sure to give your vehicle a condition of fair to good. 
make sure you put in the proper mileage, the proper year, make, model, and equipment, and then you'll get close to what we'll be able to offer you. In fact, most times we're within a few hundred dollars of all of those websites. So go ahead and do your research, and then when we get together, we'll do our job, and we'll come together, and we'll make you an offer on your vehicle that you can agree to. Fair enough? Okay, so what did I do there? I just told them that they should be well-educated. I gave them the resources. I helped them understand how values are determined. I helped them. I gave them lots of information. I never assume they're not going to go on their own here. If you're hoping and you're basing your entire success in your career on the fact that they're not going to go on their own or hoping they don't go on their own, you're nuts. In fact, you're probably a seller blower. You're probably an average or below average salesperson because you assume all these things. And then when the customer comes in and says, I was on Kelly Blue Book, you're not prepared to speak intelligently to them. So we're going to tell them how smart they are. We're going to give them all the resources. We're going to be transparent with them. Then we're going to invite them in. If you notice at the end, I said, you do this, you do that, We'll make you an offer. Is that fair? I was looking for the little yes. Most often you will get the yes. Yeah, that sounds fair. Then close. So get them to come in agreement, tie it down, and then close. Great. When would you like to get together so we can do that? Today or tomorrow? And it's that simple. Now, are is every customer going to go for the deep end? No. That's why we have a C and a D. But start with A, roll to B, and in my next video we'll talk about C. But before you do, do not practice on the customer. Role play with the, with a partner, with somebody else on the team, another rookie salesperson. Role play A and B. And then be prepared to learn all about B. But don't practice on the customer. So the B plan is essentially this. Find out what they've done in regards to their own research. Whether they've done a little or a lot makes no difference. Always encourage them to do so. Recommend a couple resources. Give them some guidance in terms of how to, how to work on those websites, how to, get, how to rate their car, and then close for the appointment. Now, if you tell them to go online to Kelly Blue Book to find out what the value is, you need to close on the appointment. They can do the homework before the appointment. If I have an appointment, give an appointment for them for tomorrow, they've got between today and tomorrow to do their homework. If they don't and they show up tomorrow for the appointment, no problem. We've got computers all over the dealership. We can help them with their homework. So don't be afraid to close on that appointment. Don't just tell them to check Kelly Blue Book. Invite them to come in. So that was plan B of what's my trade worth. I'm Tony with Talking Car Biz. Thanks for tuning in.